Hey YouTube, Greybeard here. Just uh, wanted to show you, I just got my order from Atomic Filament and, and uh, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, they gave me a, an excellent price in order to sample these filaments. Uh, so it's really good. I think we have 10 rolls in here, but we're gonna see what they look like. Uh, I'm not gonna open them right now. I don't wanna open them until I'm ready to print so they stay fresh, but uh, let's see what they gave me. All right, this is called Silky Ribbon Red PLA. It's got a nice, it's not as silky, at least through this plastic bag as uh, uh, Poly Alchemy, but it has a really, really sophisticated sheen to it. I don't know if that's gonna come through or not. So, I don't know what that's gonna do. Okay, what's this other one? Silky Aqua PLA. You can see probably where I focus some of my order at. <laughs> uh, I, I think that uh, the silk area, there's still a lot of uh, room for improvement, uh, if you will, or, or just more colors. So I was excited to see somebody else offering it. Uh, looks like they gave me a sample of Magigoo uh, 3D adhesive and an atomic filament. Uh, I think that's a cutter for cutting the end of the filament. So, put those over here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Hit the mother load. Okay. This one's called Iridescent Pearl PLA. And it looks... Iridescent Pearl. It looks pink through the package. We're going to have to see how that prints. It might need real heavy layers. Dark Cherry Red PLA. And this is a really nice color. It looks really deep. Can't wait to print with that. And it's it's not quite, because uh, I have some, uh, I have some like a darker brick, brickish, um, maybe clayish red, but this is a, a nice balance between the two. So I look forward to that. Ruby Red Translucent PLA. And that does look like a good red translucent. And I'm, I'm looking forward to this because I do have some uh, red uh, translucent I think I got from Esun, but it actually comes out a little bit too pink. So I am looking forward to seeing how red this comes out. Golden Sparkle Violet PLA. Interesting. So that is an interesting combination. It almost looks like it changes uh, colors depending on how you hold it. Uh, I, I can't wait to get this printed. Or like the angle, like where the light is directly hitting it, it looks more golden. And then off in the shadows, it looks more pink uh, or violet. A lot of reds. Another red here. What red is this? Pearl dark, dark uh, cherry PLA. I'm still looking for a really good red pearl, and I'm hoping this is it. This has this has some nice potential, so I'm hoping that this is it. This is going to be the awesome uh, red PLA, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, that was a lot of reds and violets and stuff. So we have gunmetal gray V2 PLA. I needed a good gray. Uh, I've been using a lot of um, uh, AIO robotics, but uh, I'm, I'm, I feel it, it's coming out a little bit muddy to me, a little bit with some brown tinge to it. This through the package looks uh, more of a natural gray, maybe a little bit of a green or a blue uh, hue in there. We'll see. Uh, pearl blue PLA. So that's cool. Really nice uh, blue there. I know it's not fair. You guys have to look through it through these packages. Uh, I will open these up soon enough. But uh, that's a nice looking blue. That's very nice. And 
last is this green emerald pearl swirl PLA. I wonder what makes it swirl. I can't wait to see. I don't think that's even going to show up real well because of the bag. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to Atomic Filament for getting this sample over to me and giving me a, a good price on the other rolls. I really look forward to printing with these. I'm going to get them all printed out and uh, do another episode where I have all of the samples from each one of these rolls out there for you to see. Uh, these Atomic things are really nice looking. I do look forward to this uh, uh, golden uh, violet. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to get some of these printed. I'll probably print some Greybeard models with it. If you don't have it already, go download the Greybeard model from graybeard3d.com. Uh, it's free for everybody. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I really appreciate all the support.